Howdy! Possum Patty here and I've been junk journaling. This is going to be a video for adults because I will be using some adult tools including a sharp blade. Today I got a box from Amazon. They were having a sale. Let's open it up and see what we got. little golden books. They were having a sale on Amazon. It was buy three and get one for free. And I've got one here that I want to work on in the spring, the golden egg book. This is one of Margaret Wise Brown's books. I love her illustrations. Full of nature illustrations. Aren't these cute? This is going to be my spring, look at these flowers. It's going to be my spring uh, Easter junk journal. I also got Old MacDonald Had a Farm. And this one I'm going to make my farm journal. This one is I Love You Grandma. And this one is going to be a journal about my grandparents. And this one is The Wonder of Nature. And this is going to be a nature junk journal. A lot of beautiful illustrations in this one also. The first uh, little golden classic book junk journal that I made was this Christmas one. And when I was looking online at how to do this, I noticed that people tended to split the book apart and put it back together in such a way that the pages from the original book were all folded. And I couldn't figure out why they were doing that. And I kept watching videos and watching videos until I figured out there was another way of taking the book apart and putting it back together again where you did not have to fold the pages from the original book. Now my junk journal, I, I've kind of buried the pages in here, but see here's another page and it's not folded at all. I just didn't like the way it looked with all the folded pages in there. Uh, in another video you'll see a flip through of this journal, but today I'm going to start on Taking one of these apart. I think the first one that I'm going to work on is going to be maybe the grandma one. Okay, this is an adult activity. It uses sharp adult tools. This is not a children's activity even though we're using little golden books. The first thing you have to do is um, Find the staples. The book is put together with two staples on the spine, one there and one there. If you feel through this golden tape, you can feel where they are. And then take a sharp crafting knife and make a little split where the staple is. Do the bottom staple. Go back to paper a little bit so I can see where it is. 
I have to basically feel it more so than see it. Now these are brand new little golden books. I didn't find any of the used ones that I wanted. And like I said, they were on sale. You buy three and you got one for free. thing I do is take a flathead screwdriver and reach down in there, put it under the staple, and pull it out. Sometimes you have to go to the back because their staples are bent over. Push them up a little bit so it comes out a little neater. So you can see I've got the two sharp parts there. Put my screwdriver underneath, pull it out, a pair of pliers, and voila, staple comes out. Do the second one. Find the staple. Okay, I'm going to go to the back, find the back of the staple, push one end up, and I'm going to push the other end up, that end is right there, so the other one should be right about there, it's probably hard to see this on camera the idea. Back over here. Start to pull it out. Get my pliers. Pull the staple out. Put it safely away. Okay, from this point I've seen other people just kind of rip the thing apart. But what I advise you to do is to carefully split the edge with your knife like so. Open the book. Pages come right out. Take them apart. Okay, I'll trim those off later. And because these are new, new books, this is hard to see, but right to the side of this foil tape is a crease in the book. Now, if you get a used book, it's probably dented right in here from opening and closing the cover. And people usually rip this part off. And because you're ripping this part off, when you put it back together again, then you wind up folding the pages. They don't fit in anymore because now you've made the cover smaller than it was originally. What I do, and I have one here started, I can show you, is that where this crease is, I put a piece of chipboard to stabilize it. I just glue it on like that. And then I'm going to cut a piece for the spine. I usually make it about two and a half inches of chipboard and I'll put that in the middle and then when I put the book together there's two signatures in these books it'll go together like this with the spine in the middle and then I'll bind it together so you can see here how I used uh, paper to bind it 
and now I have a book and I have material, decorated material on the spine of this book. This is going to be my winter book. And when I put this together, then the pages are going to fit in and I'm not going to have to bend any of the pages. Everything will fit in just fine. All right, so I've taken the staples out. I've split the spine. I carefully opened it up, took away the pages. I have two pieces of chipboard or cardboard pre-cut that I'm going to glue right here and here. And then I'll be ready to make the spine. So today I'm just going to use some of this tacky glue. Put a little bit on the book cover. Some on the cardboard. I always make a mess. Press it down. Sure, it's on the edge. Do the other one. A little glue on the cover. Press it down. Sure it's on there nice and tight. Squeeze out excess glue. I think what I'll do is put some clips on it for now. Just to hold it on there while it's drying. This is going to the beginning of my junk journal with a cover made from a little golden book and done in such a way that when I put these pages in here, I will not have to fold them at all. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye bye now and tune in next time when I will put the spine on the journal and reconstruct the book. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you.